Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am back with my second Funko Mystery Box. They did these EQ, EQL Mystery Boxes. They came from, you know, their warehouse or whatever. But it's three pops. It was $20. You have chances of hitting like Freddy Funkos and other protos. We're going to open it up, see what we got. This is actually listed as Grail Box number five. The last one was number one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open because they are in, at least if it's like the other one, it's in their handy dandy cardboard protectors. Oh, fortunately this one's loose and falling out. All right, so we got this, little loose, so hopefully they're not damaged. Go ahead and we'll do like we did last time and do one at a time. All right, all of them last time had a sticker. Let's see if we're that lucky this time. Oh, this one does have a sticker. Square feels like a chalice sticker, but I'm not sure. Ready? Boom. Oh, what is this? Midnight Suns Ghost Rider, summer 2023. That's actually a friggin' cool pop. Look at that pop. That is a friggin' cool pop. Not something we will keep, because I don't collect Marvel, but still a really awesome pop. That's our first one. As you guys know, the video obviously cut off because I'm in a different shirt. Filmed it yesterday and I went to edit, start the edits today and realized there's no way I filmed that whole video. That is too short and realized it cut off after the first pop. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue. So I'm gonna pull up the second pop. The second one is Dragon Ball. Now I've seen these because I thought I was filming. And this one is with wings. We do have this pop already. So it won't be a keeper, but if we didn't have it, it would be a keeper for us. Dragon Ball is my favorite anime. It's the only anime I've ever really watched any of. It was my son's first favorite anime. On to the next one. We got Flocked Chopper. Now we have this one too. <laughs> I remember when they dropped this, I jumped on and I ordered two of them really quick thinking they were gonna sell out like hotcakes. I don't even know if it's still available to be honest. I stopped looking. But either way, we already have this. If we didn't, we would keep it because this is my son's current favorite anime. So none of these will be keepers for us. But I do believe, again, that we made our value back. So we're gonna go ahead and go through all these, what they are listed for on HobbyDB and what they're selling for on eBay. All right, first one we have is Ghost Rider. And on HobbyDB, he's $23. He is the 2023 exclusive. He's the shared one. Otherwise, he would be a little bit more. Now, let's see what he is selling for on eBay. On eBay, he is listed as low as about $6 to $10, depending. Uh, $6 with bidding, and there is a about a $10 without bidding. So, even though he's listed at 23 on PPG, he will only sell for about 10 bucks. All right, next one, we got Goku. And on HobbyDB, Goku is listed at $18, which isn't bad. Let's see what he goes for on eBay. And on eBay, he is selling for about seven bucks. So even though he's 18 there, he is about $7. So far, I mean, the first one was 23 and you know at least a $13 below PPG. He is about $11 below PPG. So now let's see where Chopper falls in. Chopper on PPG is $25. And then on eBay, wow, he's as low as probably around 10 bucks. So even though he's 25, he's 50. $15 less he is selling for on eBay. I mean, even though with the eBay prices, basically just making the money back, you know, 10, 17, and then him. So that that's just making the 20 with the shipping back. So it's not too bad. As for the actual PPG value, no, it didn't even come close to what they said. Like I said, one was $13 less, one was $11 less, and this one was $15 less. Okay, so what is that? 30 nine dollars almost forty dollars so the value is about fifty percent of what the ppg value is i don't even sell things for i don't even look at ppg when i sell things anymore i usually will look at the lower pricing on ebay and the average pricing of selling and go from there because unfortunately pops just don't sell what the ppg is i don't know where they're getting their numbers from ppg or the funko price guide but they are not close to selling prices so your items aren't as valuable as you think they are 
But either way, still two decent boxes. Like I said, there would have been two keepers in this box if we would uh, not already have had them. Come on, clear up. And as for the Ghost Rider, back when we started collecting, I was collecting like Ghost Riders and Venoms and, you know, all the Venomized Pops and all that. But when I limited my collection the first time they left, and then I've limited my collection again, which I discarded a bunch of pops. And now I'm down to 95% of my pops. Well, I say 90% of my pops are all either Wonder Woman or music related. And uh, the other 10% are a few other like TV series pops and customs. I have lots and lots of customs. <laughs> so let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to leave that comment. It could get you entered in a giveaway. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, they get cool swag and gifts and AOKs and giveaways every single month. Every series giveaway has a Patreon giveaway to go with it. So my Patreons have multiple giveaways each and every month. If you're interested, you can sign up for as low as $5 a month to help support the channel so that I can continue to show you guys all these awesome things and do the mystery mini series and all of that. Otherwise, don't forget, until next time, Keep on rocking.